But there is an additional mistake on this play, right? Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I think would have completely prevented us from giving up a goal here is Rios Novo. Okay, so I don't know if they show the best angle for this. Maybe let it play the replay because I think they show the reverse angle, let it keep going. Because Rios Novo, this is actually, it looks like it was whipped in the corner. It was not. Okay. It, Rios Novo gets very close to this ball. It was not a great finish. Yeah. And they should, let's see if they, here's the reverse camera, right? He doesn't put it far in the, in the corner. I think yeah. they're going to show one more here. This is the one right here. That is not in the corner. Well, that just shows the size of Rios, who's in, in the last couple last couple games. Other people are going to say, "Well, what are the?" He made some great stop shots in the previous games, um, which he did. Um, but yeah, I mean, add add another foot to somebody like the Mexican international backup goalkeeper, who for some reason we haven't seen yet, would have probably gotten a paw on that. Brad Guzan would have gotten a paw on that. Yeah. You know? So. How tall is Rios Novo? Probably like 5'8". <laughs> he's listed as 5'10". So I think means, he's closer to 5'9", so but even if you give him 5'10". Hey, I know how those those uh, brochures work. You always add an inch or two on it. So how tall is the Mexican backup keeper, Kostin Hiera? I have no idea, but I'm going to guess 6'1". He's 6'2". Yeah. And how tall is how tall is Guzan? 6'1", uh, 6'2". Six, He's 6'4". Oh, wow. And so you cannot tell me that four to seven inches on that shot doesn't save it. Yeah. Right? Because And that's the difference, you know, a little bit. And so I went, you know, I started thinking about this. And, and I want to say some things about Rios Novo overall. But I did some homework on MLS goalkeeping. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you a little MLS goalkeeping I trivia. It. I love it. Right? Oh, I don't have trivia, so this is good. Very exciting. So is Rios Novo the shortest goalkeeper in the MLS? Yes. <laughs> he is not. There is one McIntosh from Kansas City who is a backup. Oh, no. He's actually Hold on, technically but I was, shorter. I was going with starter. Okay, in my fair, mind. fair, fair. So he's the shortest starter in the MLS. Okay. I feel like I got that right. Do you know how many goalkeepers... Uh, Give a guess as how many goalkeepers in the MLS are above 6-2. Oh, so we got, what, uh, 28 teams? 28 teams. Uh, above 6-2. I'm going to say five. The answer is 79. Oh, okay, including all the... the there are 79 goalkeepers in the MLS that are over 6-2. That means that every starter... And basically, both secondary backups are all above six yeah, foot two. Four to, you have at least like a five inch difference on average. And most of the MLS starters, I went through them all. Almost all of the MLS starters are six four. Okay. So my question is: Can you be keeper at MLS at five nine or five ten? You can, but you have to be exceptional to do it, which I don't think Rios is. I don't think you can be, period. I mean, what about like these, uh, who's the Ochoa guy? He's not a big, huge guy, is he? What's Ochoa? Yeah, Ochoa, remember Ochoa is 6'2". Is he really? Okay. Yeah, is at he? least. Maybe he just looks small because our U.S. men's national <laughs> well, team people yeah. like to look down <laughs> at them, but maybe, maybe I Maybe Carmen wrong. could look that yeah. up for us, but he's definitely yeah. well over six okay. foot tall. All right. Remember Ochoa, yeah. Um, so, okay, so, so the question is, uh, Carmen just pulled it up. He's six foot one. Okay. But um, so my que the question becomes, all right, so if you're going to play a five, let's give it, be generous and say Rios Nova's five foot 10, a five foot 10 goalkeeper, right? Why is he doing that? Right. I have my own ideas, but do you know why you think that Pineda, Pineda continues to play a goalkeeper like that? Well, he said, you know, from what I've read that he likes the way that, he helps the team play to the back with his good footwork, which a Mexican international goalkeeper doesn't have the capabilities of doing. I just think that that's BS. So he actually leads MLS with 90% of passes completed. And as you, Rios Novo. Okay. And as you know, he comes way far out to do so. Right. Okay. So now here's the thing, though. 
So we, when you have Rios Noah, he completes 90% of the passes. So you want to play out of the back, right? So who ends up on the end of those passes? Well, I mean, your outside fullbacks, which who are the people that we don't want bombing up? Which they well, get. Which so sometimes he, it's McFadden or Wiley. You're saying he leads the witness. Yeah. Well, what, which what, is, what he's playing it to the people that we don't want to be on the front foot a lot of the times, and they try to carry it down. Well, even Franco or Parata or, or Campbell, right? So one of the things that we keep emphasizing, even before Campbell got hurt, is he kept giving the ball away. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's unbelievable how many times he gave yeah. the ball away compared to a standard MLS back, and so you're like. Okay, you know, that's on him, right? But I started to think about it, and I'm like, you know, with Rios Novo in goal, he's being asked to make that pass probably, I don't know, two or three times more than any other center back because we're always playing out of the back. Right. So you're feeding into us giving the ball out of the back. When you have the outside guys going back, you're just adding fuel to the fire. So his strength, Rios Novo... Playing the ball out of back and completing those passes means that somebody got to be on the end of that pass. It means that we always play out of the back because you can't, he's not going to give it up. Right. Right. And I honestly think that it's compounding our problem. And I started to think that, well, maybe Campbell is giving the ball up so much more than other center backs, obviously because he struggles a little bit, but maybe because he's, he's doing it a lot more than a regular right. center back. Okay. What else you got, Dave? Um, Any more trivia on Rios? <laughs> that was that was. I mean, that is pretty amazing, though. That so many other goalkeepers are just you know on average five six inches taller. I mean, they're all yeah. yeah. They're all six two. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's not a. I mean, to be honest, there really is. You'd be hard pressed to find a goalkeeper in the MLS who's under six four, and most of them are even the ones that are under six four are six two. Yeah. Right, so Rios Novo at five ten is giving up at least four inches on the lower side, six inches on most of the goalkeepers, and maybe seven if he's yeah. really not five ten. <laughs> <laughs>